Hey guys, my name is Kenny, and today from the PMI Oreo presentation, I learned to be self-centered. That was my lesson, basically, for leadership experience. And basically, she talked about you know being humble, um, love you know being humble in your job or in whatever you're doing. You know, if it's your job, if it's your school, wherever you are, be yourself, be humble, love others like that. So that's what I learned from PMI Oriel today. I was wide-eyed at London, and I used to spend a lot of days just walking around the city. And I was always interested in politics. I went over there to stu study British politics. That was my semester, comparative politics. So I'm walking around. I walked by the Prime Minister's house. Now, number 10 Downing Street is where the Prime Minister lives. Now, we haven't given much thought to Margaret Thatcher of late. I almost didn't put the story in the book. But my husband said, yeah, I think you should put the book, story in the book. Turns out that my little story about Margaret Thatcher, now Margaret Thatcher's in vogue. <laughs> Because Meryl Streep has recently come out with a movie called The Iron Lady. So now people are like, yeah, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> so when I was a student, I was sitting there, I was watching uh, you know, this crowd. She, had, she was prime minister in the 80s, 79 through the 80s. And uh, these two little old ladies walked right by the security guards. Right by the crowd, I mean, they were like little old ladies, bright pink, bright blue, matching hats, walked right by the security guards and were ushered into the prime minister's home. And I, I stood back and I thought, who are those women? They sure don't look very official. Well, several, a couple hours later, as I continued my walk, so I'm walking by a park bench, there are the two little old ladies. And I went up to him and I said, I don't mean to be nosy, but like, who are you? You walked right by. <laughs> and, home, you know? and they said, oh, we're friends of hers. We helped her get elected. When she first started, she started in this little part of London called East Finchy. I guess everyone starts somewhere, right? And that's where she started. And they helped her in her first campaign. And they were personal friends. And I said, well, it's really neat. And they said, would you like to meet Margaret Thatcher? And I'm like, yes, I would like to meet Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> right. <laughs> so a few weeks later, I get this little nice handwritten note from the little old lady saying, come meet Margaret Thatcher at a reception. So I put on my very best outfit, got on the tube, showed up, reception hall, walked in. There was, sure enough, Margaret Thatcher and her husband, Dennis. And I went up and, and waited in line, came my turn. Took her hand, very nervous, and Margaret Thatcher taught me a lesson that has stuck with me 33 years later. She acted as though I was the most important person in the whole wide world. She treated me like I was important. Now, was I important to Margaret Thatcher? I was an American student just passing through. I couldn't have any effect on her career. Was not a voter, was not a British citizen, and would never see her again. But she spent three or four minutes with me, looked directly in my eye the whole time, and asked questions about what I was studying and why I was there. Wasn't it great the difference between the American system and the British system? And how did I like London and living with the family? And on and on and on as if I were somebody important. And I've stuck with that the rest of my life. And you know I've noticed that about straightforward, effective leaders. They do treat everyone as important. The mayor is important, but so is the cleaning person. The CEO is important, but so is the taxi driver. Everyone is important. You know why? Because everyone's important. <laughs> and I have Margaret Thatcher to thank for that very, very important lesson. Those are five key principles of straightforward leadership.